"'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the night, it was Krampus that's coming. <clears throat> Your soul didn't put up a fight. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, with the contracts you signed for your children to share. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, with nothing but lies all up in their heads. And mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, so proud of our deeds, we filled our kids' heads with crap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, must be Krampus himself, to him nothing matters. Away to the window I flew like a flash, sure as hell it was Krampus picking up all the trash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow, it is time let's continue, let's go on with the show. When what, when what to no wonder eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh with children with fear. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, damn this motherfucker fact, he can't have a dick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted, and he called out their name. Now Jamie, now Mario, now Mary and Joseph, on Rachel, on Oscar, on Jesus and Moses, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. We must get to these children, for I want them all. Peace, love, and prosperity, family. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm your host, uh, Sergio, better known as Tasmaniac, in another episode of Operation Wake the Fuck Up. Today, having the honor of being hosted uh, by the grunt, by, by the brand Crumb Snatcher. Uh, I want to take this time to thank our brother Crumb Snatcher, aka Kemet Till, uh, for granting me this opportunity. <clears throat> Please follow us both on Facebook uh, and Brother Crumb Snatcher on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube uh, to us both. And you can listen to my pad my podcast every second Monday of every month on on Enhancing Radio Awareness, as well as find me find me in both Facebook groups under Crumb Snatcher Group. And the official Flat Earth Chicago group where I'm a, where I'm an admin. Uh, please, ahead of time, I let everybody know, no trolls on either group. It won't be tolerated, and you will get kicked out. Uh, links will be available after the uh, after the broadcast. Please be sure to like the video, video, share it on all platforms you have at your disposal, and. <clears throat> feel free to comment and provide any input you might like to add and you, you might like to add value with. Um, now with this launch, it becomes clear to us all uh, the vision of our brother Crumb Snatcher, all right? Uh, the message is above all and must be provided without fear of being unable to spread it and reach as many as possible. It is with this very act that our brother Crumb Snatcher offers the community uh, what no one has ever offered to us, even within our very uh, our very ranks, and that that's a chance. And for that, uh, I say thank you, brother Crumb Snatcher, and I appreciate that chance <clears throat> that chance from you. Uh, with that said, let us get started. Like I said, this is the occult origins of Christmas. Now, I have stored a substantial amount of facts and occult history uh, to provide my perspective on this uh, pagan ho holiday we call um, Christmas. Uh, I need the family to remember that I'm, on I'm only offering but information to enlighten your mind. And so that you may do some research and come up with your own conclusion and perspective. I'm in no shape or form saying my um, my truth is the only and the one and only truth. No, I'm but providing information so that together we can reach a higher sense of uh, reality collectively and united. With that said, let's get right into it, family. <coughs> All right. Uh, now, family, right here before your eyes, this is the sun, all right? 
as far back as 10,000 BC. Uh, history is abundant with carvings, writings, reflecting people's respect and adoration for this object above our heads. And when we look at it through uh, thoroughly, it is simple to understand why. Uh, as every dawn of the day, the sun would rise, bringing vision, warmth, security, uh, and saving all mankind from the cold, blind, predator-filled darkness of the previous night. Now, without it, all, co all cultures understood the crops would not grow and life, life upon this plane would not survive. This reality is what made the sun the, the, the most adorned object uh, of all times, literally. Uh, likewise, they were also very aware of the stars. Uh, the tracking of the stars allowed them to, to recognize and anticipate events which occurred um, over long periods of time, such as eclipses and full moons. Uh, they cataloged this, this event the, uh, into celestial groups um, and today we know these celestial groups that they catalog as, as constellations, <laughs> alright? Now, if, if we look a little deeper at the very date we are currently right now as we speak under, as well as the days before and after, so we can further get an understanding of what we're dealing with. with um, <clears throat> we come to an understanding of what, what it is that's really going on, all right? Now, currently, currently uh, on the 21st, we began what is called the winter sol solstice. Uh, and there's a couple of mysteries that, not mysteries, but occult information that, that, that some of us might be aware of, others might not be, all right? Now, uh, reading from the from the slide that I that, that I'm presenting to you guys on the left hand side, it says for three days from December 22nd, 23rd, and the 24th, the sun rises on the exact same latitudinal uh, degree or declinations. <clears throat> this is the only time in the year that the sun actually stops its movement with its movement northward and southward in our sky. In the morning of December 25th, the, the sun moves one degree northward, beginning its annual journey back to us in the northern hemisphere, ultimately bringing our spring. Um, anything steadily moving all year long suddenly stops moving for three days was considered to have died. Uh, therefore, God's son, who was dead for three days, moves one degree northward on December 25th, as in, and, and, and it's symbolically born again, <clears throat> all right? Now, on the right side we, uh, of, the, uh, of the slide, uh, it states that the, 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 uh, certain events that happen specifically during those days, December 21st and December 22nd, all right? Uh, one of them, like we mentioned, is the winter solstice, but uh, something else that also happens is that it is the shortest and that darkest day followed by a full moon, <clears throat> all right, which is the longest and lightest and brightest night, all right, <clears throat> um, it says the clearest, most powerful and significant spiritual sign that we can and will overcome any challenges, that darkness is only temporary and to have pay, uh, faith and patience that far brighter, better days are coming for us all in 2019 and beyond. And the Orsid meteor shower peaks. All right, so there is a a a, a, a meteor, meteor shower that is supposed to take place sometime during uh, during this uh, this specific this specific days. All right, <clears throat> now let's continue. Now, <clears throat> in 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 this part of the presentation, I'm gonna show you all uh, the myths and the truth they have mixed together said that uh, we're too busy trying to put the puzzle together, wasting time instead of um, doing what we're meant to do, <laughs> all right? Um, so we're going to start with Mithra, all right? <laughs> Mithra of Persia. Now, Mithra of Persia uh, was born on December 25th uh, before 1500 B.C., now, uh, his birth was witnessed by shepherds, 
uh, that brought gift to honor him. He was styled as a, as a mediator between God and man. <clears throat> uh, I found this quote from the Encyclopedia in Carta, uh, and it said something like, uh, Mithraism was similar to Christianity in, 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 in many respects. Uh, one of the examples they gave <clears throat> uh, was that in the, um, in the ideals of hu uh, humility and brotherly love, uh, baptism, the rite of communion, uh, the use of holy water, the adoration of the shepherds at Mithra's birth, uh, the adoption of Sundays and December 21st, uh, 25th uh, as holy days, you know, and the belief in the immorality of the soul, the last judgment and the resurrection, uh, Mithraism uh, only differed from Christianity in the exclusion of women from its ceremonies and its willingness to comprise with the um, with the polit uh, polytheism. All right, uh, the similar the similarities, however, made made it possible um, the easy conversion of its followers to the Christian doctrine. All right, <clears throat> now. Obviously, from what we could see is uh, on the slide that, I, that, that that you guys have have in front of you guys right now is this Mithra is <clears throat> what they're speaking of if is is a dude, but this person appears to to be a female. All right, now like 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 I said, you know, she was born on December twenty fifth. She had she also had twelve disciples. She performed uh, several miracles. Uh, she was dead for three days, resurrected, uh, and her day of worship was uh, was Sunday. Uh, she is very extremely, extremely similar to the statue. Of, well, he. Uh, I'm saying she because to me, <clears throat> family to me, she looked like she she looked like she looked like a, look like a female. All right. Uh, at least from my from my perspective, uh, 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 you guys give me your yours and, and and we could go from there. But she looks like a female to me. Uh, but she looks like the Statue of Liberty that we have currently in New York. Uh, what we don't know is that this Statue of Liberty that we currently have in New York is not the original statue. All right. Uh, in this um, slide right here, it says the first Statue of Liberty given to the U.S. by Fran was a black woman, which the U.S. rejected. France replaced it with the version currently in the New York Harbor. The Black Lady Liberty, also created by France, sits on the island of San Mar Saint Martin. All right, <clears throat> this this very uh, 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 statue that you see right here is the actual and original Statue of Liberty, but it was rejected by the United States due to the color of the statue, and they they were the French were told that they need to provide one that was more up to par with their standards. And that's when this one on the bottom right hand corner uh, <clears throat> came, uh, came about. All right. Now, Mithra was was one of the most venerated solar gods who were reborn at uh, at the winter solstice. All right. The, 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 the cult of Mithra spread far beyond myth uh, of Persia family, um, its country of or which was its, its country of origin. And spread mainly in uh, Rome, Greece, um, Egypt, uh, and Asia Minor. All right. <laughs> now, uh, his party, which was the Winter Solstice in Rome, was called the the Natalia Solis Invicti, or 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 the birth of, of the Invisible Sun. It's not by chance that some of these rites that surround it are similar to the. Um, to the Judeo-Christian rites surrounding Jesus. <clears throat> now, uh, Mithra was born in, in in a Mithra cave on December 25th of a virgin mother. Uh, he came from heaven and was born as a man to redeem uh, the sins of the world, uh, as far as the story goes. <clears throat> uh, he, he, he was also known as uh, uh, El Salvador, which which it's it, it's uh either uh well it's Spanish and and, and it, it's also in Latin which means uh the savior uh the son of God uh the redeemer uh the lamb of God <clears throat> and with his twelve disciples he traveled uh through faraway countries teaching a doctrine of of love and enlightenment for men um he was bur buried in 
in some tomb from which uh, he resurrected, <laughs> uh, an event that was celebrated um, quite often and happily every year. Every year they had this uh, this um, this celebration. Now, <clears throat> just just like other deities, Mithra was killed to redeem the men and resurrected on the third day. You know, and if you look at the story, it looks very very similar to some of the stories that we know. Now, they also, they also have mixed in this lie, uh, 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 the Hindu believes due to several similar similarities that, uh, uh, that the God, uh, uh, the, the God Krishna, she, <clears throat> yes, family, they, they, this is another one, <laughs> this is another one, this is supposed to be a dude, all right, it's supposed to be a dude, and yeah, I understand, you know, he, he, he ain't got, got no, uh, 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 no shirt on, so it's obviously a dude, but, you know, but there is certain, uh, aspects, you know, even within the, 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 the Hindu, uh, uh, um, uh, culture, that I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that she, that he, uh, was considered to ha have the heart of a, a of a woman, a feminine heart. All right, so he he was very in touch with his fe uh, feelings. All right, now uh, um, <clears throat> like I said, you know, there there's several similarities that that Krishna uh, shares with the deity that is venerated on December twenty fifth, but he was not born on December twenty fifth. All right. Uh, I want to also throw in there the fact that uh, uh, in India, the third eye is well venerated and known. And we will see the connections regarding this third eye in, 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 all, in, all the, in all the depictions that I'm about to show you guys. Uh, now, he is worshipped uh, as the eighth avatar of the god Vishnu, all right? And also the supreme god in, in, in his own right. Uh, he is the god of compassion, uh, tenderness, and love in Hinduism, and is one of the, the most popular and wi widely revered uh, among Indian uh, divinities. <clears throat> All right. Um, now, Krishna's birthday is celebrated uh, every year by Hindus on um, <clears throat> Janmashtami, uh, according to, to uh, the lunisolar Hindu calendar. All right, which falls uh, in late August or early September it is not always the same date. All right, family uh, of the Gregorian calendar. Now, what will mind boggle us is that when we dig a little deeper, you know, when we look a little further, you know, than what they they're, they're presenting us, uh, uh, <clears throat> is 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 mind-boggling how how close this celebration comes to december 25th um if we were to use the 13 moon perpetual calendar instead of the gregorian calendar that was named after was dude named uh pope pope gregory the 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 eighth or the seventh i'm pretty sure it's the eighth but but pope gregory the eighth is the reason why why the gregorian calendar we use worldwide today is the reason why it's named that you know uh, uh, he introduced it in October of 1582 but keep me honest if that's not the correct answer uh, I'm just going off the top of my head right now now um, <clears throat> now Krishna's Krishna's mother uh, was said to be a virgin named uh, Maya all right Maya <clears throat> uh, the name Krishna now means black dark or melanated in 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 in, in sankri all right this is the name uh, of a hindu god believed to be an incarnation uh, of the god vishnu all right and right here in the middle if you guys could see the most depictions you know have a a, a bright color to them you know they're, they're they're not uh 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 white in color but but they're usually uh uh uh, uh bright in color but when you look at certain depictions that they have in certain murals that that that, that you know that have been there for an extremely long time 
Krishna is a melanated dude. What we're going to say is a dude just because that's what they present to us. Uh, uh, I, I happen to have a real wild imagination. So uh, uh, I'm going to assume that, that <clears throat> his identity was switched around because if there's a concept that I'm, um, I, I embrace completely is that the world is upside down. Literally, family, the world is upside down. What we believe to be good is not, and what we believe to be bad is not. Uh, 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 what we believe is to be up is not, is really down, and vice versa with whatever we think is down. And similar situation with everything else. They have literally grabbed the world and flipped it, <clears throat> all right? But, uh, but anyways, moving on. Now, uh, his uncle was uh, uh, Cam Cam Kamsa, the ruler at the time of his, uh, of his birth, who sought to kill him, you know, uh, because he had heard a prophecy that um, that Krishna would overthrow him. Now, Krishna uh, escaped by being smuggled out of, of the area to safety, you know. Uh, if you really think about it, that sounds pretty much like the, the story of Herod and Jesus, don't it? I mean, if you don't know, if you don't know the story, I... I I wasn't this way before, family. This is something, you know, that that, that, that I'm totally into right now. You know, I've, I'm not religious. I, 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 I don't practice no religion. I don't give myself no 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 definition, and no religious definition, you know. But but I do, in, in order for me to understand uh, what's been presented in front, of, in front of me, I have to, you know, study, you know. And besides, the, besides when, at the time when I, when I was not, woke you know per se uh i was looking into all types of religion to see i practiced christianity i was raised catholic uh i studied studied buddhism and several other ones that i looked into to try to come into 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 finding this god that we all seem to be looking for all right now anyways <clears throat> uh Jesus, Jesus at Herod's court refers to an episode in the Testament which describes Jesus being sent to Herod uh, 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 in Jerusalem prior to uh, his cruci uh, crucifixion. You know, this episode is described in the Gospel of, uh, of Luke in Luke 23 verses 7 through 15. And if you read that, and then you go and, and, and study the, 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 the story of Krishna, you are going to come to the conclusion that there is a very high chance that somebody, either somebody imitated somebody, or, or one of them is a fake, or both of them all together, you know, as far as if you want to keep your, your perspective open. I happen to... To have a different perspective but let's continue with the uh, with the presentation <laughs> uh now <clears throat> when we look at uh, uh uh at buddha we also find several uh similarities that reflect the uh, um association as well as uh uh alteration of uh, of the story all right uh first thing we must realize uh family is that the buddha is a state of being all right not a state of mind all right not a state of mind but a state of being it's not an actual person it, 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 it it's a a, a, a a state that you reach uh after you've you've aligned yourself all right per se all right <clears throat> so we have to understand that that even within the 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 the, the buddhist uh uh culture uh they are well aware that Buddha is not an actual person. You know, they they won't tell you that, that there's been... They are aware that there's been hundreds, if not thousands, of Buddhas, you know, obviously throughout the, 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 the process of time, you know, but there is not one Buddha. But if there was to be one specific Buddha, <clears throat> and we were to have to name it, uh, uh, his name would be uh, uh, Siddhartha, Siddh Siddhartha, you know, that was his true and original name of the first person to ever accomplish the state uh, uh, of being a uh, uh, Buddha, all right? Now, uh, Siddhartha is a Sanskrit personal name, which means um, 
he who achieves his goal all right now now gothama is the name of several figures in the ancient india including a a, a poet uh, of the rig veda and also uh aksapasa gautama it he's it's a famous indian um uh logician all right um and his pali literature normally refers to to his heart his gautama as gautama buddha all right as the original buddha so if we were to place a a a a, a name upon the uh, upon the 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 first person to achieve this state of being his name would be uh, uh Siddhartha all right uh now just like other deities you know uh, which is where the story gets a little, you know, weird because, you know, it's so far it sounds like this is completely a, a totally different person. But when you start digging a little deeper, uh, you come to find out that his mother name was Maya, which is uh, similar to, uh, to the Virgin Mary, uh, to Mithra, and to Maya, which is Krishna's mother. <clears throat> uh, and they were all virgins, all right? They were all virgins. <laughs> That's that you know, as far as what what uh some of the uh of the perceptions uh, are, are out there are. Now uh he he was he was obviously immaculately conceived, and at birth he announced that he was um that he was the savior of the world. You know, um his birth was announced by by a star. Just like Jesus' birth was also announced by a star. At his birth, he was visited by, by, by wise men as well, you know, who declared that they had, they had seen signs of his birth, just like the three wise men had done in regards to Jesus Christ uh, uh, when, when he was born. Um, that is the same signs of, uh, of, of royal birth, uh, you know what I mean? So... Does it sound like a coincidence or or too far fetched? I mean, you 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 make your own decision, you know. Now on uh, on the surface, it definitely looks like a coincidence, but when one considers how much of Buddha's teachings uh, Jesus claimed as his own, it becomes clear that the whole Buddha story was appro appropriated by Jesus himself or I don't know, at least by his church, all right? Let, 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 we gonna cut the man some slack. We gonna cut, cut white Jesus some slack, family, all right? Let me take a drink of water right quick. All right, so now, you know, but at least that's what, uh, that's what it looks like that. It was either him or his church. They just decided, you know what? You, you snooze, you lose, and we gonna take this, you know? But uh, um, now, curiously, one thing we notice on all the depiction of this Buddha is his pine cone shaped head, which which appears to be cornrows family uh, used by our so-called black brothers and sisters, you know, um, you know, and another point uh, we cannot and must not miss is the fact that his head is always depicted in a in, on the shape of a pine tree or or a pine cone uh, to again represent the third eye uh, or, or or the pineal gland. All right. <clears throat> now, it, 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 it in in depiction just like Krishna and everything else, you know, in depictions that they have presented us in regards to uh, uh, to Buddha, he's usually you know a bright color, you know, uh, not usually we're gonna say white you know uh not usually white you know but uh, uh 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 he's usually a bright color but when we look at depictions of this of this uh state of being this buddha uh it's usually a melanated person you know with which with what appears to be cornrows so if you really want to look be be literal literal about the situation family it, it, it's obvious that this buddha was the first dude to rock some cornrows and last i checked 
I ain't never seen a Caucasian with no cornrows. I, I, I can't even rock no cornrows. And it, 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 so, I mean, something's not fitting right. This puzzle is missing a piece that they seem to, 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 to have purposely omitted and hidden to, to, to cause confusion and to make it appear as it, 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 if our black brothers and sisters are only derived off of one specific spot when in reality and you look, you find them everywhere. You know, so something don't fit right, all right? Now, in this very specific uh, 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 um, <clears throat> slide on the left-hand side, it says the first and original Buddha was a black man, all right? The first people who conceptualized and worshipped the divine image of the Negroid uh, mound of humanity were Negroes, and they actually started the practice of Buddhism. Buddha was an enlightened master from the Sakya clan of the Naga race and was the first man on earth to preach the great principle of equality, liberty, and fraternity. Uh, he caused the Nagas to become conscious of their own mind power and opposed uh, to the mantra power, <laughs> you know. So, so, so it's very obvious, it's very obvious, family, that, you know, there is, there is information that is being purposely hidden from us, all right? But let's move on. <laughs> now, let's talk about dude, because we can't go nowhere without talking about this dude, all right? Because he, he, he the one we all worship, right? The, he, he the one that, that, that everybody, most of the people are celebrating his, his resurrection today, you know. We have no clue if this dude really existed or not. All we know is he was the only white dude in Africa uh, 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 during that time. And, 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 and something don't fit right. Some don't fit right, so we gonna dig a little deeper, right? Now let's look into the current deity and the story that that, that the entire world seems to be hypnotized and the, under a spell. The the I'm a, I ain't gonna say in, uh, famous, but I'm a, I'm gonna say the infamous Jesus Christ. You know, now I'll I'll try and combine as much information as possible, family, uh, to create a, a a visual of the puzzle they have had us putting together for way too long now remember this this is only partial but very relevant parts of the uh, of the story that can help everyone come to an understanding uh, of of what it is we're dealing with all right because there's 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 just way too much this they wrote up an entire book about this dude and and you know, so you we can't go into everything, but we go we gonna to touch base in in, in several se several uh, 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 subjects that that need to be addressed. All right. So first of all, you know, it, let's address this this little problem first with dude name. We because we gotta address it. We have to address it. it, it you know, no matter how you try to. Hi, the pink elephant. I, I, I'm looking at this motherfucker, and, and if I'm looking at it, somebody got to provide me with some explanation in regards to, to what's going on with this pink elephant, the letter J. All right. Now, it was not until 1630 that the differentiation became general in England. All right. Um, now, note in the original 1611 version of the King James Version of the Bible, there there was no letter J in this Bible, all right, uh, because it didn't exist, all right. Now, the letter J is literally only around 400 to 500 years old. Uh, uh, now, J names like uh, uh, James were spelled uh, uh, Yames, and, and, and Jesus were spelled like Isis. Or, 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 I am Zeus, but, <laughs> you know, because I is Zeus is, is, I am Zeus. But, let's continue. Now, Constantine took much advantage of this new letter so that he may combine two deities and create one to further uh, 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 cement and distance us from the truth so that it may even be harder to find when we realize the lie that is set upon our eyes. You know, now right here in this in in this uh in this slide, 
uh, I, I have a depiction of, of, of this Zeus, you know, which is represented by Jupiter, you know, uh, uh, J Zeus. You know, if, when you add the letter, you know, be, and it's G Zeus, I Zeus, G Zeus, and, and, and from Krishna, what Constantine went and did was, uh, they first they took the K, you know, and they added the T, all right, and 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 it went from Krishna to Krishna, Krishna, and then it just switched to Christ, and now we go from Zeus to Jesus or Jesus and Krishna to Christ and we end up with Jesus Christ this dude literally went and not not only you know did he went and and conquer a whole bunch of shit and uh, on the name of this uh, of this dude but he literally created the name itself all right now let's dig a little deeper family just a little deeper right now, uh, now, when we look even deeper, we come to find out that this Jesus was not the first with such qualities and references, not only within the book, but in the cosmos itself, all right? Now, the Bible itself is nothing more than a, 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 a theological library with, with, with personifications of the cosmos above us. Um, in other word, in other words, you know, the, the 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 Bible is nothing more than a astro theological literary hybrid, a fake, a fraud. In fact, the aspect of transference of power of one character's attribute to a new character can be f be found literally, family, within the book itself, in two stories: the story of Jesus Christ. And the story of Joseph. All right. Now, here's a list. A very. I'm. I'm just gonna name a few because I got quite a quite a quite a few of them. You know. But here's a a, a list of similarities. You know, just off the off the top of my, my head, that should uh, uh cause you to marvel in 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 sovereignty. All right. Now, before I tell you that, uh, if we look at the uh, uh at the slide. Uh, we become aware that uh, 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 um, that Joseph had eleven brothers, and with him it totals twelve. All right. Now Jesus had twelve disciples. All right. And in the Gospels, we are aware that we have twelve constellations. We. We got 13 family, but we ain't finna touch that, 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 we, we not gonna address that pink elephant today, alright, maybe in another one we address it, but we have 13 constellations, but we finna go with what they lied to us with, and we, we gonna go with the, with, with the 12th we know, uh, which also are the, 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 the zodiac signs, uh, 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 uh that, that, that happened throughout the year, now, Back to this, um, to these, uh, uh, um, similarities between this Joseph dude and, and, and Jesus Christ. Now, um, uh, both of them are the, uh, are, are the object of, of his father's love, all right? Uh, both of them had promises uh, of, uh, of divine exaltation, all right? Uh, both of them were mocked by his family. Uh, uh, both of them were sold for pieces of silver, all right? Uh, one by, what was by, uh, one by Judas, and the other one, Jacob was, was, was sold, no, it's not Jacob, uh, my bad. Uh, uh, Joseph wa was sold by Judah, by his brother Judah, and Jesus was sold by his by his by his disciple Judas. All right, it, it, same name, just that is one has an H at the end and the other one has an S. Coincidence? You 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 uh you dissect that that, that frog and see where where you end up. Now uh, uh both of them were stripped of the robes. Uh uh both of them the del uh, uh were delivered up to the to the Gentiles. Uh. <laughs> Both of them were falsely accused. Um, 
both of her were faithful amid uh, uh, faithful amid temptations you know in temptation you know the devil tempted both of them uh, uh both of them were th thrown into pre prison uh uh etc 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 there is as far as these two dudes go family there is literally a plethora of similarities between both of them all right and they both happened or existed during different times all right now the bible story of joseph from of joseph from the book of genesis is one of uh uh of like heroic redemption and forgiveness uh joseph was the most loved uh, uh son of his father israel you know uh that's his father's name you know uh, uh let's not forget that israel literally means uh he who wrestled with god and won uh as is told in the bible in genesis 32 verse 23 to 30 uh, uh, in the story of Jacob, <clears throat> all right? Now, given the famous robe of, uh, of many colors, when Joseph reported having dreams of his brothers and even the stars and moon uh, uh, bowing before him, their jealousy of Joseph grew into action, you know, and the, bro the brothers sold him into slavery and, you know, blah, 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 and they... They were bogus. You were one was sold what by his brother, and the other one was sold by by what might as well have been his brother. You know, but but the similarities are there, family. And let's not forget, like we said at the beginning, you know that 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 uh, <coughs> these similarities cannot only be found in these stories, but also in the sky. All right. So now let's continue. Now, if we did, let, let's dig a little deeper. Let's dig a little deeper into the story and constellations so we can get a, a, a better understanding of how this book depicts a uh, uh, phenomenon that happens in the sky. Um, first of all, let's get, let's get it out the way. The birth sequence uh, uh, of this Jesus Christ is, is, is completely astrological, family. All right? The star in the east is, 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 uh, um, is serious. Uh, um, the brightest star in, in, in the night sky, which uh, uh, on December 24th aligns with with the three brightest stars in in Orion's belt. All right. Now, these three bright stars in Orion's belt are called today the same shit they were called in ancient times, the three kings, and the three kings and the the, the brightest star. Being, being serious, uh, all point to the place of the sun rise on December 25th. This is why the three kings or these three stars followed, uh, uh, this, the, the, these th three stars in the east, uh, 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 in order to locate the sunrise or the birth of the, uh, uh, of the sun, followed that one star. They followed Sirius. All right? <clears throat> now, I have a depiction right here on the top right hand corner of of such an event the sun at the bottom that is that is about about to uh, 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 to to rise again and, and uh, the star series and the three kings right behind it all aligned upon this date which will be tomorrow all right this very event will happen tomorrow all right and, and 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 what has happened in the last couple of days from the 22nd to the 24th as in the picture right next to it which is the southern crux crux uh, or cross is the event of of the sun literally being crucified all right being being crucified and, and dying meaning that that that, that it didn't move you know visually not that it literally stood still you know but as it appears from a certain place on earth it it, 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 it it doesn't move it appears to just stay stuck there for three days all right now now the the the, the virgin mary is is the constellation virgo all right also known as, as virgo the virgin all right now, Virgo in Latin literally means virgin, but to our surprise, virgin's original meaning is 
married outside of wedlock or marriage, all right? But that's another pink elephant that we're not going to address in the room. If you've noticed, family, the whole damn room is full of pink, pink elephants. But we're going to address one at a time, all right? Now, uh, uh, in, the, in the ancient glyphs uh, for Virgo, the, the, the ancient glyphs uh, for Virgo is, a, is an altar M, as I have right here on the top left, left hand corner. Uh, this is why Mary, along with um, other virgin mothers, such as uh, Adonis' mother Myra, or, or Buddha's mother Maya, or Krishna's mother Maya, along with a whole bunch of others, begin with the letter M. Now, Virgo is also referred to uh, 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 as the house of bread. All right, uh, and the representation of Virgo is, is a is a virgin woman hold, holding a, a a branch of wheat, as you guys can see in the depiction right here uh, on the top right hand corner. She is holding a branch of wheat in her hand, and this is the constellation of Virgo. is literally a woman. All right, now this house of of bread and its symbol of wheat represent August and September. Uh, uh, which is the time of harvest. Um, in term, in term, uh, Bethlehem is, 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 in fact, literally translates to 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 the house of bread. And I have the definition right here at the bottom right hand corner. Um, Bethlehem is thus a, a, a reference to the constellation Virgo, a place in the sky, not on earth. You, and when we look at the actual uh, 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 definition of Bethlehem, it says um, house of meat in Hebrew and house of bread in ancient Greek. Uh, then it goes into the pronunciations initially named after, after the Canaanite fertility god. Um, but it, as it says right here, it literally translates into the house of bread. And this lady right here in the top right hand corner is holding a branch of wheat. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, another very interesting uh, event, as stated at, at the start of the, the presentation that occurs on December 25th during the, the winter solstice, uh, from the summer solstice to winter, um, the days become shorter and colder. And from the perspective of the uh, uh, of the northern hemisphere, the sun appears to 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 move south and get smaller and more more scarce. Now, the shortening of the days and the expiration of the cross when approaching the winter solstice uh, literally symbolizes the process of death to the ancestors. That's what they 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 they, they took it as, you know. And it was the the the, the death of, of the sun. And by December twenty second, the 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 sun's demise was was inevitable. They knew that it was that it was going to happen, you know. And for the you know for the sun having moved south continually, you know, for six months, make it uh, uh, makes it uh, uh, to its lowest point in the sky, you know. And it's here where uh, where a curious thing happens, you know. The sun stops moving it literally stops moving south at least per, uh, uh, perceivably you know or, or from perspective you know for for an entire three days and and during th these three days um <coughs> the, the, the the sun resides in like the vicinity of the, of the southern cross or or crocs constellation as I depicted right here, if you look at the top mid middle corner, it will show you that that specific uh, thing, and also right here at the bottom, which is shows you the actual planets that that uh, that uh, are composed of that constellation, which is Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, Earth, and Venus. It's literally uh, a, a, a cross. Uh, all right, <coughs> now. Um, uh, uh, after this, uh, after this event happens throughout those throughout those dates, um, on December twenty fifth, twenty fifth, the sun moves one degree 
but this time uh, uh, it moves north, foreshadowing longer days, you know, and, and, and warmth and spring. And thus it was said the son died on the cross or crux and was dead for three days only to be resurrected or be born again. This is why Jesus and a numerous, numerous amount of Sun God's family share, share the, the, the crucifixion, the, uh, the three-day death, and the res resurrection concept, all right? It is the, the transition of the sun before it shifts its direction back into the, uh, uh, into the northern hemisphere, bringing spring and the salvation because with spring everything comes back to life the crops come back to life the flowers come back to life everything blooms the earth literally gives birth to everything all over again all right now now let's look at real quick at the connection between religion and spiritual and spirituality uh, um, or what we now call the chakras, uh, um, the chakras within, and how is it that is related to this very, uh, um, to this very subject? All right. Now, religion not only does it like to usurp or imitate. Um, I think more likely like humiliate, but that's just me. <laughs> um. Other they you know they like to do this to other cult other cultures you know but they also love to contradict their self and their beliefs now by studying this religious book that you know that was forced upon us uh, we come to see how utterly deceptive and contradicting this book really is uh, uh, now Jeremiah ten verse uh, two through four gives gives us great insight on how religion is just followed and never questioned. All right, and right here I have a a, a, a picture of of said uh, um, uh, verse of in Jeremiah, and it says, "Thus said the Lord, learn not, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dis dismayed at the sign of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them." For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. The work of the, hand, the hands of a workman with an axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it, that it move not. That's Jeremiah 10, 2, 4. And he's telling you this this God, this Jesus that they believe, they, he's telling you himself that this is, 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 is signs that this heathen is, is, is portraying dismay and, 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 and they, they shouldn't, this is not something that, that, that you should be doing because it's vain. And on top of that, you're cutting a tree, you know, it's not that. And if you, we look a little bit further, we realize that Isis, you know, from from Egypt, from the Egyptian culture, uh, uh, or or Isus, it, it it also has a similarity to the word Jesus. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, uh, um, looking at at um, when we look at, at at religion and spirituality, we come to find out that religion is uh, uh, the personification of events that happen within our very body, and they place everything uh, 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 literally out of our reach. Um, spirituality, on the other hand, has been demonized and may look like 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 mythology. Now, if we study the the, the sacred secretion or the chrism, now known as the Christ and the Christ within, um, we can understand the Jesus story and Santa Claus story. All right. Now, uh, right here in this in this slide, uh, it says the anointing is the secretion, a substance once named chrism, the origin of the word Christ being anointing or anointed. The Christ within us all is born in the sacral plexus or the sacred place where the five fused vertebrae 
of the spine uh, of the spine meat, which is literally at the bottom of your ass. Uh, the Christ seed is born here and begins his journey up the 33 vertebrae to be crucified. Is the same exact thing that the, 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 this this essence does or this secretion does as as the sun. All right, uh, um, and it does that through. Uh, 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 you know, with his journey, uh, uh, it says uh, the 33 right of it to be crucified amp or amplified in power. You know, when it meets the, the, the pituitary and the pineal after spending three days in the hypothalamus or the tomb, it creates a circuit ca causing the secretion of DMT or honey, you know, and, and, and serotonin or milk, which is the same thing that is depicted in this book but they tell us that it is something that some dude did you know uh now when the it says when the seed and oil is preserved and return you in short reach the promised land and be become a perfect antenna for prayer you walk through the gates of nirvana uh uh literally uh uh that essence returns to, to, to heaven, what heaven? The heaven in your head, the heaven that is that, that is being held up uh, 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 upon uh, uh, upon your temples. All right, upon the temple of your head. <clears throat> all right. Now, uh, uh, the pineal gland or or or, uh, or the third eye and chakras are all over the Bible and worldwide and and are venerated in plain sight. But but the ignorance imposed upon us won't won't let us see this fact all right now now if we look at the at, at this uh, i mentioned jacob before in genesis 33 to 23 verse 23 to 30 you know jacob literally has a a a a, a fight with god and, and 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 he he's asking god i'll read it to you it says and he took them and felt them uh, and felt them over the brook and felt that he had and jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day and when i saw that i have prevailed not against him i have touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him him being god and he said let me go for the day breaketh and said i will not let thee go except thou bless me and he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God and with men, and has prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the place of the place Pineal. For I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. The place where Jacob was fighting uh, 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 God is called Pineal according to the Bible. And it says that he wrestled with God and with men. Why with men? Because he had to align himself. He had to let go of all his carnal, uh, uh, um, all his carnal attachments. Uh, 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 that that include that included everything that attachment, uh, everything that attached them to any man. And once he aligned himself there, he had to come in and fight God. He had to fight himself in in order to accomplish divinity and to be able to 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 to. to uh, uh, um, ascend and elevate his level of consciousness let me drink some water family now on the right side right here now the, the number 144,000 we hear it a, a whole bunch of times you know throughout the bible now but mainly in the in the book of revelation it says uh, the book of Revelation is all about the seven chakras. It mentions the number seven 57 times. I'm not going to mention all the, all the things that it mentions. It. You could read it yourself through right there. Uh, 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 but it says the number 144,000 in the book of Revelation is also uh, in regards to the seven chakras when it literally represents the exact number of souls that were ascended to God. 
In Kundalini Yoga, they teach that each of the seven chakras is a frequency of light or energy that can easily get blocked by negative emotions uh, uh, or thoughts during the course of development. The symbol for the root chakra has four petals. The navel chakra has six petals. The solar plex chakra has ten. The heart chakra has twelve. And the throat chakra has sixteen, which equals forty-eight. Now, the third eye chakra is represented by the number 96, yet it only has two petals. This is because it has two times, because it is two times as powerful as the five lower chakras, which add up to 48. Now, two times 48 equals to 96. Now, the crown chakra is said to be a thousand times more powerful than the other six chakras. So, when you add up the lower six chakras, you get 6 plus 10 plus 12 plus 16 plus 96 equals to 144. Then you times 144 times a thousand, which gives you 144,000. Hence, when you re relieve yourself from karmatic debt, self-judgment, you will emit the highest frequency of light and will no longer have to return to this realm of form. The highest frequency of light is 144,000 hertz. All right? <clears throat> uh, uh, uh. So that itself, we could see that the book, this book of uh, 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 called the Bible, it's, it, it's nothing but, but, but you know... Uh, 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 um, depictions of stuff that happens in the cosmos as well as within us, all right? And it's venerated all over the place. You can see the Pope, the staff that he's always carrying, it's got a, a, a pine cone in it. Right in front of the of Vatican uh, City, there's a statue uh, of a pine cone that is, is very similar to the pituitary gland. Uh, the Eye of Ra is a representation of, 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 of the third eye. Uh, uh, Buddha's cone head is the, the, the representation of, uh, of the pineal gland. Uh, there's several, several, several. All even the Anunnaki, they, they, the so-called Anunnaki, they, they, uh, uh, they venerated the, 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 the pineal gland. All right. <laughs> so now moving on. Uh, now the endocrine system is the the very foundation of all religions. Once we understand, because you can't outer uh, uh, understand, because then you're underestimating yourself all right but once we understand this fact we'll be able to rise above uh, uh all the deceit the third eye is also venerated worldwide uh, uh um and put in plain sight you know while depicting an evil story to create fear with because re let's remember family that with fear you control the masses now, the third eye provides a, a full vision of the light and spectrum it receives to the pineal gland, the seat of the soul, the place where the real you is really sitting at. You know, uh, uh, the side of your head is called, uh, uh, the sides of your head are called your temples. That's because it houses your pineal gland, all right, and, and which is the seat of the soul, where you sitting at. And in that seat of the soul, you you have what you might want to call uh, 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 some binoculars, and that binocular is your third eye. You you don't you, you could you could perceive everything in this reality with your carnal two eyes, but your pineal gland sees everything that you don't see even while you sleep your pineal gland is active now the pineal gland is, is, is venerated all over the place all over the place uh, you know uh, as uh, uh, as is the 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 third the, the third eye <laughs> but now moving on right here i have a little uh depiction of uh, of the pineal uh, of the the secretion that happens and uh, um, the similarities between Joseph, Mary, uh, the crucifixion, and, and, and Santa Claus. Because this secretion uh, be begins in the claustrum, all right? A a a and it travels uh, through, 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 your, through uh, uh, your spinal cord, all right? Which is the representation of a chimney, which is where Santa Claus goes down to you know to to lay down the gifts you know but uh, 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 so that's pretty much what the, this depiction in the middle is portraying 
uh, but let's move on family <clears throat> now let's look into what this religion and pagan holiday is perpetrating and switching up all right um now this so-called god or jesus they're telling us is up in the sky and did all these things for us and one day he will come and save us all um this jesus or whatever it is that they're talking about uh is not a dude family all right is it is not a dude uh i hate to break it to y'all especially those that lo love worshiping nut sacks i guess but this essence all around us is a feminine essence period there is no questions about it you know our ancestors who didn't follow no no son they just knew of how useful it was to live upon this realm also knew that it doesn't matter if you could survive here uh, uh or not if you can't even get here it don't matter if you could survive here or not if you can't get here to begin with what the fuck is the point and to get here i don't care what the story they give you about a rib or about a whatever you need a woman ain't no way around that shit you need a feminine uh, essence to bring you forth into this realm period all right now uh, 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 a woman you know grants us the, the the chance through 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 the cosmic womb all right she 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 has also provided us with a home which is called mother earth not father shit all right and, and, and during our stay upon this realm she nurtures us and protects us and feed us through mother nature not no father anything family we we're here to protect and f provide for the nation and, and and the home our goddesses provide for us all all right now right here on the side it says uh, Mother Earth, uh, uh, she represents the gate to the mention of magic. She is Mother Earth, and through her womb, life is born and dies. She is the gate to the underworld, and the goddess, uh, 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 the goddess that the that the witch and the warlock step down into in order to be initiated. All right, she is the realm of Earth and the mother to all life. All right, and she is a melanated woman. All right. I don't care how you put it, how you try to attempt to, fig to, to, to you know, sugarcoat it or whatever. It's a melanated woman, family. But let's move on. Now, when we study the first breath of creation or, or the cosmic moon or the holy trinity, uh, we come across some, some very interesting facts. You know, first and foremost, uh, 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 life is not linear. And and, 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 and and neither is time. It, it, it's circular. And, and it intertwines to accomplish creation out of uh, um, destruction. And, and, and so substance can be. All right. Now, here in this slide that, that, that I'm providing with you, we have the melan melanated woman, with, which is, is providing the, 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 uh, the, the birth canal you know or or, or or the path to to this realm and, and to do that you know she she once she does this she she implants something upon us that has been casting fear upon us for a very very long time and and, and, and that's the number 666 but in reality it, it, that is the depiction of destruction substance and creation all right now death being six protons it's us me the father it's magnetism all right uh, uh, uh or, or, or the sun or the sun all right now substance being life requires six electrons or electricity emotions all right uh the mother or the moon and the creation uh, 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 requires six neutrons, which is the seed, your child, your son, your daughter, uh, 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 the, the one that is going to continue uh, your, 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 uh, uh, um, what you've 
thought your child so so you know so they, they so they could uh be whatever it is that they're gonna be in, in life it, it, that's that is required and if we look at it at this uh uh, uh and at this three circles right here where it's four with the one in the background you know it obviously depicts a fish a fish all right family and we're gonna we're gonna get into that uh uh, uh in regards about it <coughs> now if we start study the Versica Pisces, we find out that the Versa, Versica Pisces is a type of lens, a math, mathematical shape formed by the by the intersection of two discs with the same radius, all right? Uh, intersecting in, in, in such a way that the center of each disc lies on the perimeter of the other, all right? Now, the Versica Pisces is found all around us, family, without us ever asking what it represents as it sits right in front of our face you know so and right here i have certain uh, uh depictions of it you know like right here it says uh, uh uh the womb in a christian manuscript which is what i'm assuming is jesus and if you could see there is a womb right there just as it is right here and is in the shape of uh uh of of a fish or of or what we know as the 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 Pisces sign, which is also the same thing that we find right here, in in, in this slide that in the previous slide, all right. Uh, uh, we also find it in uh it says right here, uh in the Sumerian in the Sumerian seal, you know we found the Versica Pisces in the Sumerian seal. Uh, we find it in Glastonbury Chal as well. Uh, which is also right here on the bottom left hand corner and when we look at the yoni uh, is the source of life and passage of, uh, of the soul now the word clitorly cr clitoris uh, literally uh, comes from uh, from the Greek root uh, clitoris meaning godly or goddess like all right so it is the, the versica Pisces is literally all around us family now uh, uh, uh let us study for a quick second the the the, the divine yani of creation the the the, the vulva that continues uh creation uh represented by 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 a circular stone uh if we see right here um in this at the bottom left hand corner it states you know that the ancient chemetic word for mason is mas rem meaning mother and son ma son because all ancient and occult teachings knew that if you treat a woman like a queen, then she will raise a king. Hence, the vagina is the holy grail. All right. And right there, you could also see. And this is the, the, the Jesus fish that we all see around in cars and all around here, right here on the, uh, on the left side. Now, <clears throat> if we look a little deeper into a lot, I, I, I'm not please family i am not telling you to go call nobody no cunt all right i am only offering you some information and i'm not responsible if you get your wig split because you don't win and call the wrong woman a cunt because you think you know what it means now all right now with that says it, it, it considered to be a cunt is considered to be the most vile obscene and vulgar swear word in the english language the word cunt in the in the vernacular means vagina as it is not indicating enough why it is considered so vile term in the vaginal hating patriarchy uh the the word itself was originated a term of respect and reverence for a powerful sp spiritually enlightened woman cunt derives from kunda which also comes from kunda lini or kunti the or uh, the oriental great goddess she was the great yani or vagina of the universe where all life came from and where all life returned for renewal from this same name the words country and kin and kind came from all right so we have to look deeper into in, in, into into this uh, uh uh it's into these words that they have literally bastardized and, and and changed into into something different all right now we <clears throat> not now the symbol of fertility life and birth and death is more than evident when we looked at the similarities of the virgin uh, uh of guadalupe 
with, uh, with a female vagina. The threshold that, 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 that we cross to reach this world uh, uh, um, is literally what is being presented in front of us. Now, uh, there is no virgin that, that, that resembles both the female genitalia and, and, and the virgin uh, uh, Guadalupe, you know? Now, if we look into, into a certain place in Mex Mexico called uh, El Cerro de Tepeyac, where the Basilia of Guadalupe rises, uh, it's the place of adoration for the patron, the patron of Mexico. The, the, um, the Mesoamerican Indians had a devotional center that was dedicated to the, to the goddess uh, Tanantzin, which literally means uh, uh, our little mother, all right? And if we start to look, it starts to look a little familiar to what it is. You know, we start to see everything as it is being depicted all over. We find it in our fruits. We find it in religion. We find it in objects that, 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 we, that we always carry. We find it in, in, in sculptures. Uh, 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 we find it all over, all over, no matter what... Uh, uh, um, what ancient um, uh, uh, culture you look into, uh, this depiction is going to be right there in front of your face. All right. Now, um, according to religious data provided by, by a local priest of that area, it, it says that the, that the Indian Juan Diego Narates, uh, that the Virgin of Guadalupe had appeared to him three times. All right. From December 9th to the 15th, in 1531 uh he referred to it as uh, he referred to it in 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 Nahaut, uh as tonantzin and to the place of vision as uh, as it literally translate in the cerro of tepeyec which is the basilia of guadalupe that stands in the place of adoration of the patroness of mexico all right the 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 uh the great the, the great goddess you know, and when we look at all these depictions, uh, uh, whether it be in fruits or, or, or in an, a, ancient history, you can't help but see the overwhelming similarities of a woman and everything that is being depicted upon, uh, upon this world, you know, of where it really, it really comes from, all right? Now, um, one thing is, you know, most people are not known, are not aware that, 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 that women predate men. You know, the oldest fossilized bones ever found were women. And all, were, all of them were discovered in East Africa, Ethiopia to be exact. You know, this woman uh, could reproduce asexually without the assistance of males. And this this was done obviously well not obviously but you know this was done by the, the by 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 the Bartholin gland which uh, to this day women possess you know but due to the way they eat and, and uh, uh, vaccines and and all types of stuff that we now do to our temple or our vessel that we are in you know they they can no longer uh, uh, produce the uh, all this. Um, or be able to re uh, uh, reproduce themselves, all right? But let's move on, family. <laughs> now, um, this occult knowledge that the powers uh, that be flung upon our face as they venerate it while giving us, you know, deceitful stories to create confusion and uh, uh, hatred, it, it's come to a complete halt. And it is time for us to know exactly what it is that we're following blindly all this time. You know, this God religions have imposed upon our, our eyes is, uh, um, this God is really, you know, the melanated woman, your mother. You know, the one true God that brought you forth out of um, um, the darkness uh, of her womb to illuminate your soul literally into this realm we call earth. And this God never dies, family, nor do we. All that occurs is uh, 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 upon death is yet another perception of life based upon the knowledge you've acquired in the lifetime you just left because we're energy uh, uh, uh perceiving motion you know we're we're e-motion you know or energy in search of motion because uh 
energy cannot die, family, nor can gods or goddesses. It can only be transferred to yet another vessel. So it can continue to enhance uh, 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 your awareness and, and, and level of consciousness. All right? So now, um, let's look into the dark hidden truths of what's really going on. Um, you've taken in quite a large amount of knowledge so far. I thank you for watching. Uh, let me make sure and see if I have uh, how many I have watching. I appreciate you. Please make sure that you do like the video and share it. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all. And with that said, let's continue. Um, now, the best is yet to come, family. I promise you. Now that we have looked at the deceit, the myth, the twisted truth, and what they hide, let us wonder into why they do such a thing, all right? Because we need to know why they do such a thing. And now we have to find out who is this Santa dude and what does he really represent after all we learn about the deceit? Well, family, three things stand out the most, all right? And those three things are... Crumpet Snatch, Saturnalia, and Bacchanalia. And they're all European festivals or rituals or both. All right? Now, in Central Europe folklore, uh, Krampus is a, is a horn, uh, anthropomorphic fi figure described as a, a, a half goat, half demon. Who during Christmas season punishes children who who have misbehaved in contract with Saint Nicholas, who rewards the well-behaved ones with gifts. Now, in the Alpine region, Saint Nicholas Day is still celebrated on the sixth of the uh, on the sixth of December. And while most of the kids are waiting for presents and sweets, some of them are pretty scared uh, of this evil, scary figure called Krampus. You know, he comes with the darkness to catch and punish naughty kids. Um, this beast-like demon, you know, with fur and goat horns, uh, uh, appears on the street on the eve of uh, uh, of St. Nicholas days. While St. Nicholas um, gives the bad kids a whip and horrible nightmares. Alright? Now, if, if you're visiting... Ever, I doubt any of us ever will, but you know, if you're ever visiting uh, this place in Europe called Bavaria uh, during the first week of December, uh, you, you'll encounter this centuries old tradition called Krampus Run. This is the kind of Krampus parade where they roam the street and search for bad kids. Usually, um, these are young men dressed in scary costumes with carved wooden marks. Uh, huge horns and long hair, you know, uh, uh, Krampus uh, uh, also carries bells to announce his coming and, 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 um, and one of the most famous runs takes place around the, the Christmas market in Munich, alright, and it occurs early in December from 3 to 5 p.m. Now I have a small little video for you guys here just to 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 further concrete. We're not going to watch the whole video because it's like like 10 minutes or something like that. I just want you guys to see that this is literally an actual event that these fools go through. So let us look. <laughs> Okay. Wie warm wird's einem da drunter? I don't even know what they're getting. I'm not even going to try to... Look at this. Oh, no. Look at you. Where is he then? The Nikolaus. From whom comes he? Huh? From whom comes he? From where are you? Paris Frankalpass. From München. From München. A Nikolaus. Yeah, we're the Nikolaus. How many people are close? Great. Also, we're going to... Look. These motherfuckers whipping whips around. Get... You know, just to elaborate the fact, look, dude telling shorty, you on the naughty list, you finna catch one tonight, and, and get ready, cause your daddy ain't finna save you, this is what they need feeling on these children, and they want us to believe that this is not what they trying to instill on our children, alright, but they call us savages, 
They call us savages. Alright? This happens every year, family. Every year, these people get together in various places in the European culture and they, they, they go do, they go do. It, it, literally, uh, uh, it's no rhythm. I, 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 I must add, these motherfuckers have no fucking rhythm. Uh, uh, but anyway, we're gonna just run through it real quick because I'm, I'm losing brain cells as I look through the video. But moving on, family, moving on. All right. Um, now we look at now if we look at at, at bacchanalia, uh, um, some disturbing practices are revealed, family. Um, the word origin and history for Bacchanalia is literally drunken revelry. All right, from the from the name of the Roman festival held in honor of uh, uh, of Bacchus. All right, a a a Bacchanal is a crazed party with dr drunken revelry, uh, ecstasy, uh, ecstatic sexual uh, experimentation, and wild music. All right, this is what these people is into. Don't mind the fat guy with, with 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 the missing with the missing dick. I mean, my bad. Anyways, moving on. Uh, uh, now back is what was the uh, uh, was the Roman god of uh, of of wine, which loosened the chains of social restraints, and so the name of uh, of Bacchantes, uh hedonistic pleasure filled gatherings were renamed as bacanos. All right. <clears throat> now that. It, 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 it is what these people is into. They literally having orgy parties during this time. After they scare the shit out of their kids, now they go and have a big ass orgy and they include the kids. The kids is right there, family. The kids is right there. They're always uh, 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 interacting with the uh, 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 with these people in this, and, and this is what they're what they're introducing to our children and what they want us to follow. And to be completely honest, it, it appears that we're following the footsteps of these idiots. All right, but moving on, moving on. Now, Saturnalia family, Saturnalia is the most popular Roman festival dedicated to uh, uh, the Roman god Saturn, all right? Now, the festival influences continue to be felt throughout the whole Western world, all right? It was originally celebrated on December 17. Now, Saturnalia was expected first to three and eventually to seven days, all right? <clears throat> now, the, the, the day has been connected with the winter sowing or, 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 or solstice season which in modern Italy varies from October to January, all right? Now, remarkably, like like the great uh, uh, Cronia, it was the liveliest festival of the year, all right? It, it, it literally went down, in, in their, and it still does to this day because of, the, of this country. Uh, now, um, all work and businesses were literally suspended. Even slaves were given temporary freedom to say and do what they liked. And certain moral restrictions were eased, you know, as far as, you know, uh, uh, interracial uh, sexual relations, you know. Uh, the streets were literally infected with, uh, 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 with a Mardi Gras uh, uh, madness. Uh, uh, it, even a mock king was also chosen that was called uh, um, Saturnalis, precepts. And the seasonal greeting was Io Saturnalia was heard was heard everywhere family everywhere literally everywhere now moving on let's get to the good part let's get to the part to where we see what they stole now that we have learned and studied what this folks are turned into an unbelievable wild orgy family that has spread worldwide let us study how we went about things with our respective nations and cultures because we also had a belief but ours was based on knowledge and wisdom not stupidity and ignorance but they had to hide that and present us as some type of primitive tribes running wild and naked in the forest like we had lost our damn minds or some shit well i'm here to tell you 
that they don't call me Lucifer for anything. For I'm here to illuminate your mind and return you to the ancestral state of mind and release your mind from the bondage they have imposed upon it. That's what I'm here for, family. That's what I'm here for. <clears throat> now, let us start with the motherland. That's where we're going to start. We're going to start with Africa. Let us travel in time to ancient Egypt. All right? Now, Horus is the name of the sky god in ancient Egy Egyptian mythology, which is designated primarily to two de to deities, which is uh, Horus the Elder or Horus the Great, uh, the last born of the first five uh, uh, original gods, and Horus the Younger, the son of Osiris and Isis. All right? Now, uh, um, his mother Isis gave birth to him, and she was born by the god Thoth, uh, to flee and conceal the child from the uh, from the evil Seth. All right. Now Seth had killed the the the, uh, the father of Horus, whose name was Osiris, and, and and he was he he sought to kill Horus as well. You know. Now uh, Isis was able to keep Horus hidden from Seth till Horus grew to manhood. Uh, Horus uh, uh, also sought to avenge the murder of his father, like any 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 son would i i know i would but we all know from what we've learned before that these are all depictions of what we knew that happened in the sky all right <clears throat> uh, uh 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 not you know but 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 he was out to get dude you know and, and he made he declared war on seth and defeated him all right as as well as we well know, these are, you know, like I said, these are event, events and personifications uh, 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 that our ancestors were well aware of and studied well before the beast set up foot, foot upon our lands. All right. Now, let's take a look at the Nubis. Let's take a look at the Nubis family. Because we were GD with shit. Well, let me not. We were gangster with shit. All right. We didn't have no. Fat dude running around with a half a dick or nothing like that. We we was literally beast family. We they they were scared of us. They were scared of us, and that's what was happening. Now, Anubis was the god of embalming and the dead. Since and, and, and since jackals were often seen in the cemetery in the cemeteries, the ancient Egyptians believed that Anubis was the god who helped uh, uh, to. To embalm uh, Osiris after he was killed by Seth, you know, uh, uh, um, he would um, <coughs> he would help the souls uh, literally transition uh, uh, into the new perception of life as it went through the primordial primordial waters of life and death. All right, that was uh, uh, Anubis's Anubis's job to 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 uh, help you transition. To help you transition from one perception to the next. Because let's not forget that we do not die, family. Alright? <clears throat> now, I, I will hope that it's quite obvious that what has happened to our culture and ancestry after the conquest of Christianity, uh, it's obvious, you know? They have presented us with the story of creation when in reality it is but an, an abomination that our serps are true culture. Let us not forget that the comedic word for Mason is Mesrem, meaning mother and son, because all our ancient and occult teachings show us that they were well aware that if we treat a womb man like the goddess she is, she will place you up at the top of her entire realm as she raises gods beside you. Y'all looking for the Holy Grail or the Cup of Life? Look no further, family, for the vagina is it, and whoever shall drink from it shall leave, live forever. All right? <clears throat> now, let's continue. In the picture right here, in, the, in this slide that we have right here before I move on, just take a real quick look of who we were and what we became. And it's time to stop that. It's time to stop that. All right. Now, 
I have the honor of, of presenting you a bit of my culture. So let us look further and into the culture, into a culture much, much closer to us here in what we call uh, uh, the Americas, the Mayan culture. Join me as I introduce you to a small part of the hidden and a call history we're not told. All right? <clears throat> now, this is Kenicha Hao, the Yucatec name for the Mayan sun god. All right? In the Quiche Mayan tradition, Kichiguana is the creator of the god of light. All right? Now, Quiche is a place in my home country, in Guatemala. I was naturally born in that country. Now, Quiche is also the the, 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 the the native tongue spoken by the by the by the natives in, in, in my home country. And I guarantee you, family, what we have depicted in our pyramids, it is not, it is not no Caucasian dude. It is a melanated person. It is what we now call a black person, all right? <clears throat> now, like Horus and Anubis, uh, Kinichahau, he also had a companion or a, f a, a, a close friend called Xoloid uh, 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 Squintly, all right? Now, the Xoloid Squintly is the name from the mouth of two words in the language of the Aztecs. Solol, the god of lightning and death, and squintly, or dog, all right? It says, for the ancient Aztecs and Mayans, man's best friend was also a hairless healer, and occasionally food source, and most importantly, a guide to the underworld. The name of the words in the language of the Aztec is Xoxol, uh, the god of lightning and death, and is Quintly a dog, a dog. According to the Aztec belief, the dog of Quintly was created by the god to protect the living and guide the souls of the dead through the dangerous one, uh, through the dangerous ones of Miklan, which was the underworld. Now, this dog literally exists, and they even made a movie about him, and I did a presentation about it. All right. Uh, 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 you could go to YouTube or to my go go through my Facebook and go look at that presentation uh, 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 of Halloween Decoded, where I go into uh, uh, into detail about uh, 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 about the movie Coco. All right. Now this dog is the, is known as the Mexican hairless dog. The Squintly or Solo for sure is a hairless breed of dog found in toy miniature and standard sizes. Um, the solo also comes in a coated variety, and coated and hairless uh, uh, can be born in the same litter. All right, this dog is not a myth; it literally, really exists. All right, family. Now, where are we? Are we are in? Okay. Uh, now, when we uh, now Kinichua, uh, Kinich how not Kinichua. <laughs> Uh, Kinicha Hao also had a warrior son named Quetzalcoatl, all right? So let us dig even deeper into this rabbit hole to unravel even more occult knowledge because uh, I'm a little excited, you know, I'm a little excited, you know, and, and I like when I present uh, 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 information like this, all right? Now, now Quetzalcoatl or the feather snake or reptile is the is the Aztec Mayan name for the feather serpent deity of uh, of ancient uh, Mesoamerica, one of the main gods of many Mexican and uh, uh, northern uh, Central American civilization. You know, uh, the northern Central American civilization would be places like uh, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. I'm not sure if we. If the Mayan culture goes as far as Nicaragua, uh, uh, so I'm not gonna uh, assume, but uh, but that is what would be considered pretty much uh, Central America. Now the name Quetzal cult literally means Quetzal, which is a bird uh, 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 or a snake, 
or a serpent or reptile with feathers of the Quetzal. Quetzal is the national bird in my home country, uh, Guatemala, which is which implies something divine or precious uh, in the in, in the Nahuatl language. All right. <clears throat> now the meaning of his local name in other Meso Mesoamerican languages is similar. All right. Now the Mayas knew him as Cucunan, uh, the Quiche as uh, Gakumat. All right, the feather serpent t deity uh, was important in art and religion, and most uh, uh, Mesoamericans for close to two thousand years from the from the pre-classic era until the Spanish con conquest. All right, uh, um, so so this person, the, 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 this uh, uh, Quetzalcoatl, w w was well venerated and known throughout. Uh, 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 throughout uh, Central and, and, and Northern uh, America. Now, right here on the right, I have, uh, uh, this is not a, 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 a fake picture. This is an actual uh, uh, scan that they did from the skies uh, of what is known as, as uh, where all the pyramids and the civilization of the Mayans uh, are at. Now, this was just recently discovered maybe like two three years ago uh, uh they had only found certain um certain uh, uh pyramids but since the forest in these countries uh, uh are are very thick um and the trees were very tall they they they, they were hiding a lot of uh, a lot of the civilization that that was upon this and it just recently was was made available through a scan they literally had a metropolis in this area, family. It, this were not people that were running naked in the in the in the jungle, just losing their mind, not knowing what the hell they was doing. They 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 they, they knew what the what the hell they was doing because even to this day we can't figure out half the shit they did. All right, and their depictions are all throughout the throughout their their uh uh, uh throughout their uh um. Uh, the pyramids and everything. Quetzalcoatl even has his own pyramid, which is full of uh, 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 snakes and reptiles, uh, as far as sculptures. And and uh, um, and he is said to have gained all his knowledge from from uh, a reptile god that came from from uh, from the sky. It being his father, which was Kinichahau. <laughs> all right. Uh, now looking further, uh, Quetzalcoatl. Uh, as thought writing the stories of our, our, our reality manifest uh, through sacred ge geometry. Now, as with all gods, there is a promise to return one day. Uh, the truth being, no no gods return, we return to light or rebirth. We are we, we are already well aware of that. Now, what is even more curious is the fact that Quetzalcoatl is usually a accompanied or ridden by a warrior goddess who he protects and honors, all right? Now, at times, she de she's depicted very similar, similarly as, uh, uh, as Anubis or, 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 or Horus in a feminine aspect, as, as I have depicted right here in these two pictures. The, the, this one right here, uh, uh, it, it certainly looks like Anubis, uh, this one right here uh, th that's riding the, the snake, it's obviously a woman. And this one right here, it, 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 it's, uh, uh, it, it, it's uh, what, what I would believe to be a, a depiction of, of Horus or probably even uh, uh, um, Anubis. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name. It, the name wasn't coming to me, family. But, uh, well, it is also said that... Um, that it was this feminine goddess who provided the Mayans with so much knowledge regarding the cosmos, the cosmos, and uh, uh, and, and an accurate calendar that was based on the cycle of life or the womb men's menstrual cycle. That's why the Mayans are known for having the most accurate calendar to ever exist. Now, most are under the impression that the Mayan calendar cannot be as accurate as this, as depicted, especially. When we, when when the well-known uh, um, 2012 event never came to pass, it never happened. The the, the day passed. Uh, 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 
you know, and, and, and as far as the calendar, no more time is depicted after 2012, which, you know, which it was kind of baffling for some people, you know. Uh, uh, I have a little, a little meme right here on the right-hand corner that says that is, it's a dude that's making the calendar, and he says, I only had enough room to go up to 2012, and his answers to tell him, ha, that'll freak somebody out one day, you know. <laughs> so, uh, uh, <clears throat> what, what, what most fail to realize is that with the current calendar of 12 months that takes away a month every year and stacks it on to the next creates an inaccurate date perceived since the actual day uh, the actual day is and never was 2012 all right the the, the date was never 2012 that is just uh, uh, that is just to what it uh it adds up to uh, uh, if you use the year of only 12 months, but if you do the math family, if you do the math, you come to realize the actual date is December 21st, 2020, the end of the world wrongly translated, but instead is the end of the ages. All right. The Pisces age and the start of a new Aquarius. <clears throat> now I will be doing another presentation at a later date with more details regarding that specific date and its event events so stay tuned family stay tuned for that specific uh, that, that that specific uh, uh, uh presentation at a later date uh now in conclusion family my message to every uh uh, uh to uh, to to everyone is gonna be pretty simple all right uh, uh um these people have deceived deceived us beyond be uh, uh beyond knowledge it, it, it's uncomprehensible what the, what they've done. Uh, um, so we have to come together so we could gain a new perspective based on what we know is facts and what our ancestors left for us before these people change everything all over again and we no longer have access to all this information. All right? Now... <clears throat> The conclusion is real simple, family. We're one. One collective consciousness, all right? Separated by myths, religion, race, uh, 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 um, and by, ra by a race, uh, 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 by people who are unable to, to possess a soul, all right? That, that, that's the bottom line. No matter what part of the world we attempt to turn to, the, the result will always remain the same. Our culture and ancestry has been bastardized and separated to cause confusion through fear. For with fear, you control the population. All right, family? You don't got to go too far. You look at the similarities of Africa and America, and it's all there. It's all there. It's all there in front of our eyes. All right? Now, <laughs> history tends to repeat itself. And and show us that no matter how much we try to we try and and omit what lays before our eyes, the truth should always shall always rise above all, you know. And it's very obvious that, like it says right here, uh, uh, after four hundred four hundred years later, and we're back to the same language. We're back to the same language. All right. We we used to we used to uh, 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 communicate with hieroglyphics. And we are right back to that shit. Right back to that shit. And on the left, we have a, a little depiction of a, a, a um, <clears throat> of an American uh, um, tomb that was that, that that is found in Illinois, and the one that is found in 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 Africa. They're both very very similar. Only one being stone, and the other one being made out of uh, metal, which I'm assuming is gold. All right. Now, uh, um, it's our destiny to take back the for uh, to take back uh, uh, by force if necessary what was stolen and altered. Family. Now, our goddesses honor and respect demands it. All right. Now, uh, um, if we look into it, we come to realize that a lot of these things that that that, that our cultures have depicted, they they are intertwined. They are together, and America, the Americas, are are very much a part 
uh, uh, of that other civilization that seems to be far away, but it's really not. You know, one of the things, you know, for example, is uh, camels. You know, they're uh, they're they're uh, they're thought to be uh, from Middle East Africa, but they're really originals from North America some 45 million years ago. Between three and five million years ago, they crossed the the Bering Land Bridge uh, to Eurasia and eventually migrated south. All right. Now the Bering Lands, uh, uh, the Bering Land Bridge is is uh, the connection of of Russia and. Russia and oh my God, what is that other that that state? Uh, pa, 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 pa. I can't think of the name right now. I it's like right at the tip of my tongue, but it, Alaska. I'm sorry. The uh, where Alaska and Russia uh, connect. There's a little tale per se, you know, that 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 they that they mention that 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 connects both 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 uh, continents. All right. So uh, with that said, family. I want to thank everyone who took the time on such a day to witness my presentation. Please like and share in any and all platforms you have access to. Uh, do not forget to follow me on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, tune in to my monthly po podcast. Uh, you can find me at the, uh, at the Crumb Snatcher groups and at the official uh, Flat Earth Chicago groups. Thank you so much to Brother Crumb for the opportunity he has provided. And I look forward to being a part of the of the growth of the of the brand Crumb Snatcher. Um, please like the page and follow it for a plethora of knowledge that is provided weekly by Brother Crumb, and now thankfully by me as well. Uh, till next time, I bid you farewell, and and I leave you as I arrived in peace. Peace, family.